Good. So yes, this idea of um, younger children being in the same audience as the older children, the zone of proximal development, um, I see that there could be really great benefits and both, you know, looking up to the older ones and the older ones taking care to have empathy for the younger ones. What do you think? Yes, yes, I, I agree. Uh, I, I think that in, in, in uh, some, some, in some kind of educational uh, environments I've been to, um, such as NGOs here in Brazil, we have a lot of NGOs and they are really strong here. Oh. And uh, sometimes uh, there's like a, I don't know cultural center. I I, I, I used to, to go to a cultural center where, where we had children very small and uh, children bigger children. Uh, interacting on daily uh, activities, you know, we did uh, games, uh, literature, we, we we read, we, it was like voluntary work, you know. Yeah. Uh, and I've been there quite a long time and this, um, how can I say, living together, this, this moment of sharing and of learning from the small children with the big ones is, is really uh, rich it's something that our, our schools have lost when they when they close children from different ages uh, like you are first grade you're second you're third you you know it's they don't they, they lack this yeah I this, completely this thing of yes the bigger ones taking care of the smaller the smaller having to listen to the bigger ones and uh, learning from the big ones also Yes, and then also watching how the smaller ones do things differently. This is also valuable. And I've gotten yes. feedback. <laughs> I've gotten feedback from uh, young people who happen to have been homeschooled and mm -hmm. uh, preferred that method because they were able to interact with older people and younger people and not just people all of the same age. And they learned a lot more. So when it comes to learning uh, enrichment, yes. um, it's it's stronger when it can, once again, cross barriers, cross borders. We're talking about crossing cultures. There's knowledge gained when you collide cultures, when you cross things yes. that don't usually cross. And um, yes. yeah, when we see that in uh, intergenerational, I think it's really valuable. I, I think you you hit it on the head when you said the education systems tend to to isolate and and break down yes. that engagement and put a maybe it's a unnatural barrier. Up. Yes, yes. Mm. Uh, there are some some projects here like uh, doing. Uh, cross like uh, projects when, where the children are the bigger children are together with the smaller like um, uh, it's, it's a new kind of education I think some schools from democratic uh, line are doing it some schools from from Scola da Ponte that's Jose Pacheco is a, an educator uh, who, who founded the Scola da Ponte in Portugal uh -huh. That is a very, uh, uh, very uh, innovative uh, school. They 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 had this this vision, and and they, in the end, they they abolish like uh, rooms and uh, this uh, signatures and thing. They they started doing everything different, just like a bit. I know I know there are some some other schools. I mean I think summer school. No, Summer, Summer Hill. Summer Hill, name. right, right. I right. saw one once uh, uh, a documentary about Summer Hill, mm -hmm. and uh, they they did this kind of of thing. It's, 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 I think each one has a different way, but uh, this thing of intercultural uh, relationship, intercultural and intergenerational, it is is really great, and the 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 screenings totally can do it, can do that, right? I mean, um, that we have that, that problem, like sometimes 
the programmers are so hard so hard on on the age no this yeah. up to six this up to seven and ten no children can see guns and children can see uh, monsters and they can see blood or or the big ones can and uh, this is just um i mean there's research behind and, and everything but sometimes i think i think it's too too much Mm, too much. So hyper it's it's sliced yeah. too fine I, I like to um subscribe to the danish film institute's 10 uh and this is 10 rules or the, they say uh, 10 uh, commandments for making films for young audiences and these are actually making documentaries for young audiences but just when, when working with young audiences and one of them actually is quite striking it says you can show anything any subject to young audiences but it of course it's how you do it and um so i i i think that's the most overarching and the simplest but also uh, requires the most uh, experience and and care within that really high level definition yeah 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 totally, uh, totally. Uh, because of course we see some very strong things that frankly i would not show young people because i uh, when, when considering what child soldiers had to go through for instance and the documentary about yes. child soldiers i would not show because it actually scarred yeah. my own <laughs> memory and there is yes uh, i i you know, i wouldn't either i don't think i would do i would program no. that to children no no but uh, uh if they should happen to find out about something like this i certainly wouldn't deny it and we would talk about it in the most um hopefully constructive of ways and protective of ways but yes, yes. also answering that it does happen anyway so yeah those are ex there are some extremes that we won't go to in showing mm -hmm. uh, through documentary yes. or film but uh yeah i think that's what we agree on so um thinking about that and and thinking about the next uh if we can do a program on screen 360 tv with an audience um we're shaping up one for the 19th. Well, it would be the, and I'm not even sure if the time would work for you actually, because it's mm. with India. And they they wanted us to do <laughs> India at three o'clock in the afternoon, which would be 2.30 in the morning for me, plus four hours for you, it would be 6.30 in the morning for you. <laughs> <laughs> So wow. I, pro I proposed um, 7.30 in the evening for me, and it would be 8 o'clock in the morning for them. Um, so 7.30, and it would be 11, uh, 11.30 at night for you. Or, yeah, I don't think we could get any kids, young people to do teens. that. Perhaps we could get some teens. It, could you get some teens? Because actually, this is a group of so. 11th and 12th graders. Oh, I don't think that's that's impossible. That's possible. Oh, but good. Oh, we'll be so rich. But they, I, I mean, it's so, really uh... so. Yeah, 730 plus 4, 1130. It would be a midnight movie actually if it's a guy yes. midnight experience <laughs> to con to touch the world and you're not playing mm -hmm. Fortnite, i think they would be interested <laughs> yes yes and i think, think so this is also something that i've been investigating and exploring with teens about Fortnite because they are there are 300 million playing throughout the world and i just looked at that statistic late yesterday and there is a space in the game where you're in an ante room where you're preparing and they do have conversations with yeah. young people <laughs> from around the world mm -hmm. so if this is somehow introduced how if it gets introduced and believe me i've written to the founder of epic games to try and, and introduce it but if it can get introduced that there's films let's watch a film together. There's some really cool films out there. And I am 
I, we are doing low level uh, diplomacy. When we're meeting, playing a game, let's continue. And I bet there's going to be a percentage of young people who are really interested in activism, you know, and, and meeting their peers from around the world and becoming an international peer. So this, this term international peer is something that we are trademarking. And we want to develop this as a, a sort of a, a badge of honor that young people wear uh, and, and have access to. So maybe that's something what, that what we do can you mean with international peer? It's, it's like a com companion and it's like something like that, right? Well, think, think, about, think about now more than any time in history, young people have the capacity to influence each other through the internet, to meet each mm -hmm. other, to influence each other. And so mm -hmm. if we can guide that, we can, I, we think- we Make uh, it more stronger, make, make this, this- This collaboration. Yes, yes. Pot for potential collaboration. And yeah, this, 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 really as great. this aspect is why the, the Peace Innovation Lab at Stanford calls Screen360 TV a positive peace technology. So mm. this is, this, and, I'm, and I'm writing a proposal now to the American Embassy in The Hague, and th there's also an office for the Peace Innovation Lab there. This is something I think that's really, really positive and strong. And this is where yes. they would recognize the peace. Um, so I think it could be something that we float to young people to see how they would feel about being young ambassadors in a sense, international peers and, and creating that, that network where they do talk to each other. When they hear that something has gone wrong in one country and they have this access to it what's going on what do you hear what are yes, the adults this is saying great. yeah this is great because uh i mean uh i i myself i had the the chance to to travel to different countries when i was young oh, and i, I had the chance to to know some people from other countries but i see i see there are many people in, in brazil that couldn't have this this opportunity exactly and uh the internet could do it right this, this is Screen360 TV's mission, is to make those travel-like experiences, the knowledge that comes from travel, which is really ignites empathy, right? It really, yes. and, and, and self-reflection and objectivity for your country. Travel does this. And if we can yes. offer the travel-like experience through films, then mm -hmm. that gives more learners the edge that people who have affluence and access have. So this mm -hmm. is really leveling the playing field and, and this is what Screen360 TV is all about. So I think, yes. you know, and maybe posing to the, the teenagers you have access to that, you know, what do you, how do you feel about being a young ambassador, uh, an international peer? And um, we, just, we just made uh, the stickers for Screen360 TV, I'll show you <laughs> right here. But now I want to make a sticker. The next thing would be, I'm an international peer. Are you? Something like this. And maybe they can help, mm -hmm. help us design it. So yes. we can pose it as also a design opportunity. And I'll ask these questions in very short, um short segments you know we, because the the screen 360 tv curriculum has uh questions and surveys that come two weeks after and so this this event on the 19th which would be the 18th for us the 18th and the 25th uh we show the films on the 18th and on the 25th we return with the uh, work from the curriculum. I'll send you. I'll send you the the package that we're sending out to India, and also the Northern Territories in Canada. We're hoping they will join too. Mm, but uh, in our case, we we need uh, young people who speak English, right? 
Yes. Like, unless there's someone who, for instance, like you, who will support with translation and we would slow things down so that mm -hmm. the translation could work. Because this is how Screen360 TV works also. Yes, we might uh, go forward in English, but with the adult guide present, we can do translation and sooner or later, mm -hmm. we'll be able to do voice translation uh, immediately. There's, you know, technology is almost there. <laughs> yes, well, yeah, and uh, the, the, but you said the, there's going to be screenings in 11 and 12 and, and in team 18 and 20, right? Almost. Uh, the, the, the grades, the grade level are 11th and 12th grade. Ah, so okay. they are yes, yes, six, yes. 16, 15, eight, 16, eight, 17 eight, years eight, old. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the, the dates that let's see if I can just um, propose it, send it to you by an email uh, right here. Uh, let's see here. And then you can, we can look at it right now. Let's see. I just sent it to a Canadian school too. All right. Um, Yeah. Yes, this is great for schools, right? I think. Yes. Yes. Schools that are that are that have a more a wider perspective should uh, really get interested. I I hope so. Let's see. Uh, oh, I'm looking for the first one, and um, ah, oh, there it is. Okay. But let me, I'll just, I'll forward you this proposal to your uh, email. There it is. And it's going there now. Okay. And you see, we've, we've, we've actually made a translation for the, the Hindi, but this is uh, you know, Google Translate. That's what, but mm. it's, it's something that it, it's a, a scaffold to support. But what we're yeah. doing is sort of creating a, a world public square where people meet, and run into each other, ask for directions, empathy, language, everything is new. And from your experiences traveling, you remember how everything is, you're completely open you've dropped all of your preconceived notions about cultures and you're there completely yeah. open for anything to happen. And that is when we really learn the most, right? Yes, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, and, and if we understand what that feeling is like, then it's really important to recognize that as the feeling to live in rather than putting up these barricades because some people think that the more barricades I have, the smarter I am. I think the, the more flexible you are, you know the barricades are there, but you decide you prefer to live in a more liberated space where you are strong at the core, you have the capacity, but you elect to be open. Um, exactly. Yeah, I think. Exactly. Yeah. I think really it is also, I mean, this is where my, my dance experience is coming in and understanding mm -hmm. what, what sensations feel like in your body, because after all, that's what helps us make decisions. And um, when we are pushed, it's hard to feel what that's like. And oftentimes I think school, society, things push us and we forget to feel what yes. we're supposed to feel yes. like so wow it's true yeah so really let, true. it's 12 o'clock now i want to be uh honor your time um so after i don't i don't i don't you probably don't have time to send things out now but maybe if, if you can remember it you're in touch with the teenagers tell them about this potential midnight screening or 11 yes. 30 screening okay okay it will be on the 18th and on the 20th right 
18th and 25th. And 25th. Yeah, okay. so it would be, it's the 19th. Let me follow up with that, uh, a note with you, for you. Because the uh, information I just sent you via email is showing the 19th and 26th. So we are going, and we're, we, we are still setting that time. So I'll follow up and mm -hmm. confirm that time. I'm, I'm asking, okay. I'm asking the person in charge if she would reconsider doing it in the first uh, hour of the school day rather than in the last hour of the school day. Okay. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I hope she yeah, does. Hope so. <laughs> yeah, because two thirty in the morning will be hard to do, and and then. If you can participate, that will actually be um, a little more leverage to do it first thing in the morning for uh, them. And in that, for it India. would be in the morning. For uh, India, for, yeah. But yes. for, for you, it would be in the uh, you know, 11, the late 11.30. Late, late night, yes. Yeah, in the late night. Late I night. have to check who, who would be, who could be the, those things. It's just that in the in this moment with the festival, I am so busy that that I really don't know if I can get. But in in times when when things are more normal, yeah, it's easier. After and after after the sixteenth, right after your yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay. You know what I should do is make you a little flyer that might be easy when somebody comes to mind. Yes. But yes. You, yes. I know your focus is truly completely until the 16th yeah. so we won't worry about that but if okay something comes up yeah that's good flyer. but i like to, to know the, the the project better and uh i think it's really powerful <laughs> i think so too we just need to have stronger partners like television stations who will support it and especially uh technologically mm. but um yeah yeah and I, i'd also love to do a co-production with you with the two kids and i'm sorry that it was disappointing that there weren't more of them but this brother and sister is no really, problem they're they wonderful. are really interesting they're wonderful yeah yeah <laughs> i really like yeah them. i mean and here are two kids from cross-cultural development and um and they're so engaged in their heritage and that's the beautiful thing as weavers mm -hmm. Yes. I, I don't know if I sent you the video about them, but this is something that we could do, you know, a cross-cultural piece about them. And uh, and because it's in Spanish, of course, um, we have to strengthen that, uh, that bond also with the U.S. and Spanish speakers. And the U.S. needs to see the value of the, having multi uh, value of multilingualism and the value of uh, yes. heritage of having a strong yes. heritage yeah that yeah. is really valuable yeah so <laughs> more more to come uh more good, to come yeah good luck i'll i'll try and see as many as i can at the yes uh, if you whatever tech. you can it's going to be nice uh in the in the 17 no 19 in the evening here it would be uh, three oh. in the, the afternoon there. And then three or four in the afternoon. Yes, the, the yes, uh, awards. The, we, uh -huh. will have, we will have the awards. And in the other days, we will have uh, moments. We call them moments. It's presentation. And oh. so there will be presentations uh, from different people. And two of them will, be in, will have parts in English. Okay. One will be about uh, Yuval Gozanski of Israel, uh, who has this, is writing this book on, on the story of children's television. Oh, and he's going to good. make like a streaming, uh, how do they say? Uh, yes, he's going to be promoting the, the book and saying some things about that. Uh, we will have also uh, Maya's workshop one day. Okay. Perhaps you might be interested. It's, it's the master class, actually. Oh, okay. Okay. On the sixteenth, but Maya is on the is at sixteen p.m. four p.m. Four p.m. So it will be my. It'll be twelve p.m. for 12, us. Twelve. Yes. Okay. 
Oh, that's quite manageable. Good. Well, I'll, I'll make sure to register so you know I'm there. Okay. 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 If, if you if you have the opportunity, it would be great to have you. Oh, that would be great. Great, great, great. That's <laughs> is is Maya coming to you or is she zooming in? Zooming. Like, everything's via so, internet this year. How and uh, are things opening up in Brazil? Or are you still really locked down and masking? People are, are open, are opening, but we have like 30% of vaccinated people. So it's None yet less. soon. Yes, it's too soon. Yeah, we here need, uh, we need to, to vaccinate. It's like 30% totally vaccinated. It's already yeah. something, but uh, we, we need, uh, I think, at, at least 50% to, to start to think yeah. about that people are already celebrating. I know, and the same here, but we're all already starting to go back with the mask because of the Delta mm -hmm. strain, right? Exactly. exactly. So this is, uh, we keep it going <laughs> like this. And, mm -hmm. and I'm happy about this. Otherwise, we wouldn't have this conversation. And this is <laughs> this is really great. This is really great. Yes, and, yes. and I'll send you a yeah. copy of this uh, documentation because our conversations are really valuable, Daniel. I don't think we know how yeah. valuable they are until ten years from now when we see mm -hmm. that we've been we've been thinking and talking yeah. about this. So, and I it's completely true. believe in the micro zeitgeist. Our conversation has its own power and, and uh, like a micro zeitgeist, I call it. So the, the ideas yes. that happen here are the ideas that happen because you and I are here thinking about them together. Great. Yes, I believe in this. Yeah, the that's power cool. of, of the, the thought and, and uh, the ideas, no, the, the, the dreams. Right, right, <laughs> and and this is how they they float and cross pollinate. It's, uh, right, so we don't own. That's that's one of the things that when I'm teaching design thinking, I said don't don't be married to your ideas because if you don't put them out there, people can't build on them and come up with a better idea or one that works mm -hmm. differently for them. Right, so there we are. Ideas are meant yes. to be shared. Exactly, I agree. I agree totally. <laughs> okay. Well, with that, toy, 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 as they say in Germany, good luck. Mayor, to break a Yes, <laughs> thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay. <laughs> we'll look for you and, then. Oh, oh, do you have any okay. idea when the when you might put a little section on of the Bautista kids? Uh, about, sorry? The, the, the two kids from the U.S. Ah, yes, uh, from the award ceremony. Okay, okay, super. That's really nice. All right. <laughs> Thank okay. you. See you Bye. later. Take care. <laughs> Get you. some sleep. <laughs> Bye -bye. Okay. <laughs>